I've been working out recently. Stretching feels so good. So good. Why are my lips so trapped? My lips are so dry. For primer, I'm going to go in with this Becca Velvet Blurring Primer Perfection Base. I haven't used this stuff in a while, actually. Ooh, I need to shake that up some more. I haven't used this stuff in a while. I used to use it all the time up until like I moved, but I haven't used it since I've been here. Okay, so for foundation today, not really doing anything important, but just like being extra today. So I really like these two combined. Literally just using um, a blush. It's probably not the, the cleanest thing to do. So recently I've been using this Real Techniques blending brush to blend in all of my foundation. This brush is bomb for blending in foundation so bomb it's been a while since i've actually i always say that in every tutorial it's been a while since i've talked to you guys and i've realized i never do voiceovers like i never do voiceovers i always just sit here and talk to you guys i don't know if you guys like that or not you guys will have to let me know but voiceovers just aren't my thing like i just i don't know so once everything is on i'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and just go over all of that, make sure that there's no harsh lines. I've been doing this recently, and I do this just to warm up the outer portion of my face. So kind of I use it and it replaces as a cream contour. I'm gonna go in with the Infallible Pro Glow. This is in the shade 210. It just adds like a super natural glow just to the outer portion of the face. So now we are going to move on to concealer. For that, I'm going to take this Contour Cosmetics Concealer Palette. And I'm going to use this as concealer today. Because this one's super creamy and hydrating. And my under eyes have been super dry lately. Now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's because I feel that that concealer didn't really cover enough for me. This concealer makes me forget why I stopped using it. Now we are going to set the under eyes. I'm just going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I press the powder in so instead of wiping the powder away when you're baking or setting the other under eyes it's better just to press the powder in like as if you were still blending out your concealer my chin gets oily so I'm just going to bake here while we are baking and doing all of that, we are going to move on to bronzer. The ABH bronzer, this is in the shade Saddle. And I've been using this Morphe M5 110 brush to bronze. Believe it or not, this used to be my highlighting brush, but I've been liking it for bronzer. And I'm just going to apply it right here. I'm not going to bring it down too far. I just really want to focus it right here. I think that's why I like this brush so much because I can really control how contoured I want to be, how not contoured I want to be. At the sides of my face, this more like here. Moving on, I'm going to take this sponge by Morphe, just carve out underneath the cheekbones. So now I'm just going to brush all of this powder away. Okay, so now I'm just going to go hit these brows really quick. We're back. Brows are on. Now we are just going to move on to the eyes. For today, I'm going to keep it really, really simple on the eyes. I think I'm just going to do a little bit of bronzer, maybe like a smoked out liner, but not actually turn it into a wing. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to go back in with that same bronzer from earlier. Applying that right here in the crease. I'm actually going to drag it out, kind of connecting it with the bronzer. So I'm just going to keep blending this out, applying color and blending it out until I feel like I have enough pigment. Okay, so now for eyeliner, I'm going to use this one that I got out of my Boxy Charm. This is the John Tella Blue. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I would leave the name down below, but it's in the shade 903 Dark Brown. I'm going to warm it up on the back of my hand first. Okay. 
conditioner. Now I'm just going to take, this is a pencil brush by BH, and I'm just going to smudge it out. I'm going to apply a little bit more just on the outer part of the eye. Once you have the liner blended out to how you like, I go in and add one more layer, just as close to the eyeline, eyeline, lash line as possible. I like the darkness there. So moving on, now we're just gonna take the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia. I'm going to go in with the shade Rustic. Now I'm going to take the shade Noir on a flat shader brush, this is by Alexi. And I'm going to stamp that right along the lash line for a little bit more deepness and kind of smudge it out a little bit. Switching back to the pencil brush. Now I'm going to pick up the shade Sienna and I'm gonna start blending this out. All right, so now I'm just going to take some powder, just stomp that along, and I'm just going to slightly try to drag this corner. Okay, so and now that the entire face is pretty much complete at this point, I am going to go ahead and apply some Ardell Wispies. No, individual lashes. Okay, you guys, so we are back. As you can see, the individual lashes are on. I really like individual lashes. I can't decide if I want to do lash extensions. My mother kind of my mother-in-law. Well, Josh's mom, she says I shouldn't get them because they're bad for your lashes, but I want them. I'm sorry if you guys can hear someone in the shower. The shower downstairs is not working right now, so Josh is in the shower in my beauty room, but yeah. Now we're just gonna move on to highlighter. I'm going to take this one by ColourPop. This is in the shade Boomin. This is from the Makeup Shayla and ColourPop collab. I'm just gonna apply it right here to the High points of the cheeks. I'm not gonna go glow crazy today. I'm just gonna hit it right there. Something simple. Place that the brow bone. I'm gonna take that highlighter and place it right in the inner part. Down the nose. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to lips. And for lips, I don't have like a nudish, brownish lip liner. So I'm just gonna use my brow pencil. This is the ABH one in dark brown. Now I'm going to take this lip liner by NYX. This is in Crown. It's a nice name. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply ColourPop's Chai. Boom, perfect nude. Okay, you guys, so this completes the final makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys. What's wrong? It looks so serious. My arm is so sore. That's good though. Hello? Hi my dear, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, are you at home? Yes.